Leroy Jenkins. The man. The myth. If you are, have existed as even a sperm cell since, since like 2012, chances are you know of this man. An internet historian made a video about it. Sure, it's about as old as my brain, but you know what? Leroy Jenkins is funny. Internet historian is funny. Let's find out about this man, shall we? Also, ignore the fact that my tits are huge. That was a redeem. Oh, oh, jam. Oh, Jimmy Jam. Chat, dance me. Dance me. Oh god, I think I just broke the pattern of space and time the story of Leroy Jenkins. Hi, Chimpy. The man who got famous for prematurely ejaculating himself <laughs> onto the face Again? of battle. God damn, what have we talked about being premature, he guys? He is Ben Schultz, a regular guy from Lafayette, Colorado. Only an hour's drive. Isn't it crazy how just acting like a fucking moron gave this guy a career? And ever since that day, content creators have been trying to imitate this man to gain their popularity. Oh, how, how things change, but ever so much stay the same. <laughs> From Balloon Boy's house, as it happens. By the way, guys, if you're watching this on the new YouTube the channel, you're pretty cool. Years old if you're watching in from Twitch, you're also pretty cool. Make so sure you ben go and check out the new got YouTube channel on 40s and decided to make a guild. They settled on the most sarcastic name they could think of. Pals for Man, life. dude, I used but to love playing WoW back in the day. Like, so you remember these? Raid. Like, this is back when so WoW used to be video. a simple time. Like, I'm half expecting there to be like a fraps sign down in the bottom yes, corner it's and handy The guild hand. admitted it. So it goes on. They get 720 no scoped by the welts. Here, I made a map so you can see what it looks like without all the chaos. <laughs> Find a full version on my set. You want? You want? You want to know? Okay. I'm not going to pause champ too much, but I want that there's one thing from this I want you to see because without this meme we would never have gotten this absolute banger of a tune. Ah, oh, nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he just ran in. Yeah. You could quit as soon as they say there was a definitive the before and after of Leroy existing. Leroy became a star. Dude, I, I loved baby. I loved this era of World of Warcraft. Oh my god, he was in the news? Wait. Oh it's <laughs> I thought my video I thought the other video was playing again! <laughs> It was in this video. <laughs> Same brain. Same brain. Clearly me and an internet historian need to do a collab because we have the same concept of funny. But fame was a cruel mistress to Leroy. Taking yeah, I don't know about you guys, but when I played WoW, this was my, m this was my favorite era. Back when it was organic. Back when it was... Outside UBRS, I don't know, it was just like... He would this to me whispers was the day. best time some World like of Warcraft this. had, just because some it felt. Like this. this is like back when it was popping off, like you know. This. this is back when there wasn't a such a dilution of gaming. This is back when World of Warcraft was the best choice because it was basically the only choice of a well-structured MMO. And I honestly, I kind of miss these times back when the 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 chemistry and formula behind gaming hadn't been quite figured out yet. Back when things were still rough around the edges and. Like, I, I, dude, I used to play WoW back in the day, not because it was a fucking MMO. I played it because I was playing with my friends. This was, this, this, in my, in high school, this was my social life. And I remember back in the day making a guild with a friend called Hunter x Hunter, who I then realized, no, wait, so, sorry, his name was, I actually can't say his name because it, it's Hunter that ends with dead. Hunter did. I'll let your brain work that one out. But we made a guild called Strangulation Point. And I was the 
supple age of 15. I did not realize that strangulation point was equivocably a <laughs> fallacy of, 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 of sexual asphyxiation. I thought it was cool and edgy. And then I wondered why I started getting, getting messages about if whether my guild was all about ERP or not. <laughs> So, yeah, I miss these times in WoW. They're very nostalgic to me. Walker, who would follow him day in and day out trying to find personal information. In those days, WoW didn't allow cross-server play either. So that meant huge queues and wait times. And when you got in, there were even oh, yes, bigger problems. Queues. I remember those. Loot lag, rollback, disconnection. Which meant Isn't it crazy how one person can make such a big and difference? And Leroy's video was attracting tens of thousands of new players <laughs> to his server. It was beginning to impede the way he played the game. Bum, 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 Worse, bum. it wasn't the kind of fame that allowed him to get rich either. I mean, it inevitably it did. Fame. In the end it did, sorry. He and his guild tried to make money by selling merch. But they had trouble with Blizzard's copyright. I mean, the guy's literally in So the best they could do was sell shirts with Ben's He's got face an on. NPC in the game now. They didn't sell very well. Hey, chat, They invited him check. to host at BlizzCon. Dick right. check. I was cannon rushing, just being a jackass. Just drinking. It went okay. Ben was offered a job oh, at EA. Oh, God, But he dude. turned it down. Like, back when, back, back when gaming conventions didn't have people who knew how to be a personality... Dude, this is as bad as the, as like, e uh, what is it, uh, e the, 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 these like, gaming debut conventions like EA, or, uh, what, what, not EA? You know, like, back in the, like, or, you've probably seen these like, cringy compilations of presenters at gaming convention debuts, being like, hey, hey, hey guys, here's, here's a game, e th E3, yes, E3. Like, you've seen the, this shit, right? You've seen this shit. Th these pe these presenters who are clearly so freaking nervous and have never touched a video game in life. Like, oh god, there's a bunch of freaking nerds in front of me, and I have no idea what to say to them. Hey, hey guys, check out. <laughs> check out. <laughs> or then they do some like really at off, at out of pocket, like, how do you do, my fellow kids, kind of thing. Like, hey guys, check out this game. We're so hip with the kids. Yo, check out, check check out Andrew WK. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Win okay. Ben was offered a job at EA, but he turned it down because the pay wasn't great. And it was only a six month contract that would require him to move across the country. Oh yes. Meanwhile, the, uh, Blizzard sees the popularity zero hour of Leroy contract. and pumps out figurines and lore. Ever notice how Leroy gets whiter over time? <laughs> Interesting. They even make him into a quest. Yeah, but it's voiced I by this. some random guy. Ben decides to send an email to Blizzard and say, uh, "Hey, uh, uh, what about uh, me?" So they let him vo for it. Yeah. And then that's it. He was invited to a few other events. I mean by cringe right like just you get people with no personality you have no no stage presence you get them up on stage and it's cringe kind of like the do you guys not have phones kind of thing <laughs> yo that face when she keeps when you nut but she keeps sucking <laughs> and it's also just such a Thing as well like you get famous for but one thing and you know you're not often. skilled enough to get to it's like you've you've captured lightning in a goddamn bottle like the anixia wipe animation guy or you, it's like you go viral for one thing and then you try so freaking hard to catch that lightning again and you just never can and then you fall into austerity and then you're never heard from again and then you're just put into uh <laughs> Stop it. And then you're put into uh, nostalgia videos, reminding people about how you used to be popular. And then you wonder why people have existential crises. Meanwhile, Pals for Life had become the most attractive guild on the server. 
and it was turning into a veritable bukkake of success, <laughs> with glistening splashes of legendary items and trophies glazing its founders. We'll be right back. Ah, yes. The only on quantifiable the description Leroy I can... Jenkins Jr. of Jacksonville. What? They now have a first-degree murder warrant out for the 43-year-old. But back to Ben Schultz. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you're actually called Leroy. I'm sorry. Can we roll that back a sec? Leroy, this is... Guys, this is what I'm saying, right? You, you fall out of popularity so hard that you fall on hard times and you become a wanted murderer. <laughs> Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes your popularity. Beep. And then you get up, and then you remember that you used to be popular, and then you fucking kill a dude. Ba ba da ba ba da ba. <laughs> Hold up. Junior of Jacksonville. They now have a first degree murder warrant out Jesus. for the 43 year old. <laughs> but back to Ben Schultz. During an interview, he says he's working on a new viral video that will be out by the end of the year. My guy, I know this video is six years old, and maybe the formula for virality hadn't been discovered yet, but you don't intentionally make a viral video. You cannot with certainty say that a video is going to go viral. That is some prodigious... Narcissistic nonsense. Yeah, bruv, it's gonna be viral. It's gonna be proper wicked, innit, it, bruv? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm sorry, dude. That ain't how it works. You, you had, you had your lightning in a bottle. You had your moment in the limelight. It, it, you can't recreate that. And the thing is, if you, the entire reason why Leroy Jenkins to begin with was so popular was because it just, it was so off the cuff. It was so organic. It was so in the moment. It was just a dude who was drunk eating chicken. You can't get that kind of energy by formulating it and scripting it. You just can't. It's like the MCU trying to capture the 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 energy of generation one MCU movies and then ruining it royally by putting the message into every single one of their goddamn movies. It just don't work. It's got to feel organic. It's got to feel from the heart, baby. Like how my love for you comes from the heart. And how you should, too should join us on twitch.tv slash Makari and become part of the Kari Mansion today so I too can give you my aforementioned love. Yeah. But instead of another viral hit, he dies. What? No. Okay, no, he didn't die. But he did quit the game. Oh. He was bored with it. I mean, to be fair... Same. All of his friends were. This was about the time I... Jamal like, and I had a continuous WoW sub for 10 and years. In 2008. And it was around this time I quit WoW It seems the that Pals for Life really meant... I have 16,000 hours in one character in Leroy WoW. Leroy comes back in 2011, but he doesn't stay around for long. He doesn't even play his own quest. <laughs> he doesn't need to! He lives his own quest. Why you got to do a quest that's basically just a... A uh, 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 poetic um, in 2011, he makes journal an in a of what you already know. The Chronicles. You of lived the it, dude. A full version of the movie, of course, is never to be made. All right, so let's do this. My, and yet, literally three years later, Viva La Dirt League did everything this was gonna do and does it better. Like I love Viva La Dirt League. But in that same year, he gets a proper brush with Hollywood. The Warcraft movie is announced. One of the first versions of the script here features Private Jenkins. No, a he wasn't. Who breaks rank and charges into battle before he should. But before production, they cut him from the script. No, no dude. The what? I mean, the Warcraft movie was fine. But if they had actually put a character like that at the beginning, I would have scored it easily an extra two points. They do invite him to the premiere, though. Here he is with Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh! Jamie, I hear you've been yelling Leroy Jenkins all day. Yeah, we're, we're all good. Oh, yeah, I'd love to hear your best one. Alright, ready? No, don't, don't. Oh, God. Cringe, cringe, cringe. No! <laughs> 
I'm literally grimacing with cringe. I got a surprise for you, though. It's like it's disgusting. It's like dirty taint on my body. Let's do this. I'm in the cosplay. <laughs> That's me. That's me right there. The that was me. Right. My face. In China. So they'll probably make a sequel. And if they do, it'd be nice to see Ben make a cameo. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's kind of wild, right? You just make a random shitty video and it just leads you to all these amazing opportunities. Like, what have I got to do to get my opportunity in the limelight, huh? Have I got to dox myself? Do I have to show a nip? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll get up on this chair right now and I'll show a nip. In today's news, local streamer gets cancelled because they flashed a nip. No, wait, shit. People, that's, that's been done to death. I need to, th I need to think of something original. Something that no one's ever done before. I know. I'll give an actual honest opinion. No one's ever done that on the internet before. And you want to know what my opinion is? I think Frosties suck. That's right. Honest opinion. I know, guys. I know. Mind expanding. Oh, bl mind blowing revelation. Okay, where's my million dollars? Come on. Where's, where's, where's my, where's my uh, movie contract? Don't. Where's my virality, damn it? Ben has gone back to his regular life. I'll expect, as I'll, I'm expecting my emails. I'll be and checking. That's the story so far. Harry's cute. <laughs> the, meme, the icon of internet history. Ben Schultz. Good night. You know what? Really quick before this actually ends, I want to quickly do something. Schultz. Is this him? It's better be him. Please don't get me kicked off of Twitter. I, I, I am going in. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Either Leroy got jacked or this ain't my guy. Yup. That was Leroy Jenkins. Great. Knowledgeable. Made me feel very nostalgic. And now I'm going to go and have an existential crisis about how old I am. Yay! <laughs>